patient's base, I think that you lose a little bit of that, which is what ha has, I'm just sharing with you like all the inside chatter that went behind Coffee with Karan and, and we kept coming back to finding a replacement to Rapid Fire. Oh, man. And, 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 um, and the sad thing is like people are s much more worried now than they were in the first three seasons. Because, you know, nobody wants a PR nightmare, right? Like, nobody wants to be, like, getting into... So everyone is so careful uh, that you have to kind of make sure that you eventually change the language of the rapid fire so at least you'll get something. You know, otherwise people are like... There were times where people have answered with abandon. Oh like, like, most overrated, most underrated, and I'm like, answers were just flowing. Today, I wouldn't answer those. How can I expect them to? You know, we all have to somewhere be, sen we are in a very sensitive climate always. Like we always, people are, social media has made us so much more sensitized to sensitivity. So everyone is so much more sensitive about what they're saying, what they're expected to say. Fan clubs get angry and like, you know, I don't want any of that. Like eventually a talk show that's meant to be fun, you have to have fun with. Who wants the downside of any of this? Like I'm inviting them, they come for their, absolute love for me and their relationship with me and I have to protect that. It's like, like ghar mein agar aapne mehman ko bulaya, you don't want them to go back feeling that, you know, I have a bad stomach. You know, they want to come, go back home feeling like, Are yaar, you know, we were well taken care of. And, I you mean, know, you know, they always say that you need a shot of coffee to wake you up. But this is coffee in its wokest of that in 2023. And I want to give you a hand for walking that line so gracefully because we have to be sensitive, and at the same time, we have to have fun. And if there's one show that's doing that right now, it's Coffee with Karan. Yeah. All right, thank you for the consensus. My favorite episode, and let me just go straight off the bat, Ranveer Dapika, oh my God, that video, thank you. Thank you. We I have to. nothing to do with the, that video. The beauty, the romance, the intensity, the emotion of that video comes from both of them from their hearts and souls. And it was their idea to share that with us. And I was very, very, very touched. And I'm very grateful to both Ranveer and Deepika for actually sharing with not just me, but the entire world, a very private part of their lives. Uh, those four minutes are possibly one of the most precious four minutes of Coffee with Karan in its entirety. And I go that, I say that spanning eight seasons because it takes a very large, and generous heart to share the way they did. Uh, because it was many years after their marriage and it could have very easily not been shared. And I never asked for it. I never asked for it and I got it. And I, I feel it's the first time on Coffee with Karan where I got much more than I bargained for. Yeah. So I picked my favorite episode. I'm gonna quickly go around this place, look at faces and say, what's yours? Coach, oh, Coach, Hoda, a reunion. Oh, I'm living for this. Thank you. Listen, you know, in on that episode, like, I felt like I, I couldn't stop laughing. It was just hilarious. It was, and I, there was nothing, it was not, I thought that, is it going to really come across funny or am I only finding them mad? Because like, we, I was mad, they were mad and they, it, we were just laughing. At one point I had to get up because I, my stomach was hurting. Because I was like, we were just laughing. It, it was inane. And then it realizes that we've gone back so many decades together that obviously we have a camaraderie that is, that is like kind of special. Um, and it was, even when with Sid and Varun, these reunions have really worked out well. Uh, and Sid and Varun actually haven't done an interview at all in the last 11 years together. Uh, so when we got them together, again, like, like they were just hilarious. Like, like Varun always says funny things unintentionally. But like when he said he goes boating with his wife, I was, like, I was like, that like was like that totally had me. And I was like, I, when did you go boating with Natasha? Like, when Hashtag did this happen? I'm and, boating and tonight. I, any of us Mumbaikers will know that it's not in our top 10 things to do, you know? <laughs> like, like, we don't go boating, you know? You can walk, you can dance, you can go and say, I've done, you know, I've gone and seen a movie, I've gone theater experiences, had fun here, had fun there, but boating is not something that I would come across here. Gems from the season. Favorite episode? Is it possible to ask Karan Johar what his favorite episode is from this season? I mean, I can't answer that question. Of course not. I, in fact, um, I've enjoyed all of them. Um, I, I have to say that uh, each one of them was special in its own way. And that is an absolutely politically correct answer. Uh, and I'm going to stick with it. Because, God, there are no hampers yeah. right now. So, yeah, because I'm not winning anything at the end of this. So I'm not <laughs> saying it. 
and they've all come with lots of love in their heart and I'm not choosing. Oh my God. All right, so then I think it's time to let you do some questions, right? So we have a mic, it'll pass around. Obviously, you'll address your question to Karan Johar, not me, so go for it. Hi, Karan. Hi. Uh, Karan, my favorite was Vicky and Kiara, after Sid and right. Karun. But I want to know from you, what was the best moment from this episode for you? What was the I'm highlight apart you, from uh, about the, the fact age, that you know, <laughs> Well, actually, it was rather age. sweet hearing about Kiara's proposal story. I thought it was like quite sweet when she spoke about how Sid proposed to her in Rome. And of course, I knew that had happened. But it's like, what, what I love is when people actually drop their guard and share bits of their, you know, personal life that, 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 that no one else would like know about or no other show or interview would have access to. I thought that was sweet and I thought, I thought, I just thought Vicky was like, like wonderful throughout. Like he has such an easy, easy personality on camera. Like he's just so himself all the time. Um, I feel like that's how he comes across when he puts up a Punjabi rap video or when he gives an unabashedly brilliant performance um, in Sam Bahadur and everything that he's done. Uh, Kiara has such a gorgeous real energy and I just thought that so much of that episode was so lovely. You know, there are a few episodes that keep you smiling throughout and that was one of them. Hi Karan sir. Uh, my question to you is, you had revealed, uh, uh, you know, in one of the episodes that there was a period of time when you were not uh, on talking terms with uh, Karina and Kajol. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of that is also mentioned in your book. Yeah. Uh, but for those uh, who do not know, do you want to say a little more about that? And do you think that period has strengthened your bond with them? I mean, absolutely. Uh, they're not, well, with, you know, with, um, with time you realize that the relationships go through ups and downs. Um, I never want to go back to the time when we weren't speaking because those are times that I feel I lost out on on precious time with two, two women I absolutely love. Um, I'm just glad that today we are even stronger as friends, as family. And in fact, it's bizarre because when I speak about, I never thought that Karina and I would have children at the absolute same time. Like, it, I always wondered when I, because I was an older parent, like when I had my kids, I was 44 years old. And I kept thinking in my heart that you know, I'm going to obviously be the oldest person in a PTA meeting uh, or a, on a WhatsApp group or a, in a birthday party. And that's so far from the truth because Karina uh, had had uh, Temur at, at two months prior to Yashan Ruhi's birth and Rani had Adira a year before. And I was like, these are two of my closest friends and they both actually um, you know, have kids around the same age. And, and if you see Kajal with my kids, it's like she's like she's becomes one of them. And I'm just so glad that I have this support system of all these friends. Because when you're a single parent, you have to know one thing, that you do need, barring the fact that I'm in eternally grateful to the universe for my mother and how she co-parents Yashan Rui with me, but I'm also very grateful for my friends because they're all there. They're all there with, with all their hearts. And so even though we went through a phase, I'm just glad that we are even stronger today. And I think what doesn't break you makes you strong. Thank you for that beautiful question. After you, there is a girl with, a mic, with her hand up for a while. Yes, ma'am, you. Yes, would you just raise, you know, just stand up so that they can give you a mic later? That's okay, ma'am. We'll come to you after. Okay, thank you. Yes, Ankita, please go ahead. Hi, Karan. Hi. Karan, this uh, season was special because you brought up a topic which nobody thought a pop culture show like this would bring up, that's anxiety. Yeah. And not just about anxiety, you spoke about your battle with it, how you dealt with it. What prompted you to actually come out and speak about it at such a big platform? And post you have done so, what's the impact you have seen? How have people taken it in court? So I think that what happened on that episode was organic, it wasn't planned. If you know and have followed the seasons, um, a lot of it is unplanned. A lot of the conversation is just flows. Um, I felt at that point of time when I saw that beautiful video of Divya and Ranveer's, I felt like, you know, apart from the fact that you talk about your loneliness, but you also, because Deepika has expressed herself in the public domain about her depression and the fact that she has um, even a foundation, you know, that deals with it, with such, with such absolute uh, brilliance, I had to say that you know it was something that I felt like I needed to share because I feel like a lot of us 
in the in in as public figures, um, you go through things, and I feel if you touch on those topics, you're empowering many others to also speak about it. And I feel like I have been through in 2016 um, a phase where I discovered I was going through anxiety. Then you know you you get better, and then it does come back again sometimes. You know, and it came back again for me at the beginning of this year. And uh, you, what you do is you address it, and you have to, the first thing is you acknowledge it, and then you address it. All of us can go through, we are, can all have, what happens to me or what happens to anybody else, it can happen to anybody. It can happen, and it doesn't mean you need a trigger. Sometimes it's a result of many things. Uh, sometimes there is a trigger, but when I spoke about my anxiety, it was also to share a part of my life that really exists, and it's a part that, that exists today as well. And uh, while I speak, I have no, um, absolutely no uh, fear in saying that I'm on medication, and um, I feel much better today, because I seek the help, and I think we need to. Sometimes you feel that, you know, you can speak to a family member, and you can speak to a close friend, and maybe that is therapy in itself. But there are professionals who can actually guide you, where sometimes your loved ones can't. And not because they're not capable or don't want to. It's sometimes that's just not there. There's not there. They've not been educated in that zone to tell you what to do. And that's where formal education in that field can truly help you and guide you. And you need professional assistance. You need to go there. And for that, the only thing I, I tell people is acknowledge it first. Acknowledge it to yourself and 